What is going on guys, CodeStar here, back with another unboxing video. Today we'll be going over Fangzor Mantanoid and Enoch Ultra with Baku Gear. We're going to open up the single pack first. Alright, first thing we can take a look at is the Baku cores. Got ourselves a regular shield, which is Fusion plus 500B. Not bad, not bad. And a Helix, which is Fusion plus 300B and 2 Frost. Alrighty, try to get these cards out real quick. Alright, I actually had to cut those cards out of the pack with a knife, so make sure if you're going to use a knife, have a parent or guardian's permission and supervision. So, the card, Fangs or Mantanoid, costs 200, yeah, 2 energy to fuse, it's a 603, that turns into an 805. You know, I think this is a pretty cool looking character, but I don't know how great he would be in battle. And here's the gate card. Ooh, zero. Zero chaos. And it looks like it's uh, leaning towards darkest here with 500 darkest points. Alright, let's get to the actual Bakugan. I already cut the uh, zip tie, or not zip tie, you know what it is. I cut the little tie there, and here's this guy, pretty long boy. It's definitely going to be good for a gate card battle takes up the whole card so I guess no one else can try and take your card if you're playing like the legacy way I don't think it matters if you're on the same card for the way they tell you to play um anyway so there's the B power right in here all right let's go ahead and try and figure out how to close this guy all right these little feet and the tail probably are gonna go in. Oh, there's a foot. They don't go down together. So I'm gonna put those down first and then tuck the head in. Right, wait, hold on. These arms go back, but they don't move together. So you gotta do them separate. Quite unfortunate. And now the head. Now the head, and then fold it together like that, and there we go. Um, I guess I'll just use a gate card. Oh. Uh, close Ventus. Not really interesting as a marble. He does have a pretty huge gap here, so that might interrupt your roll. Or you can just set them in that little gap area and he won't you know if you is he bottom heavy I think he might be a little bottom heavy he might be good for spin rolls hold on where's the magnet here it is Alright guys, I'll probably have all that cut out, but he does swirl, it's just that this area is, as you can see, not too much longer than my hand, so I don't have a lot of area to do a twirl roll. Anyway, there he is, like that. I'll go ahead and fold him up and shoot him from the side. 
All right, and there he was from the side. I don't know why, but that took a couple of tries. He just went right over the card without activating, which was pretty weird. Anyway, uh, I'll get to Enoch now. Alrighty, um, we'll look at these back of cores real quick. Got a regular fist, and it is plus one damage and minus two cost for a Baku gear. I think that's what that is, right? And this one's 400 B power, minus two energy for a Baku gear to be played. All right, we'll get these cards now. All right, here's what's in the pack. You get some instructions. This looks like a little poster sheet with a checklist. Just throw that aside. And this is a toy battle game. Just throw that to the side as well. Anyway, here's your cards. They're a little bent, but not too bad. This is your Baku Gear card. Dark Helm. Costs three energy to play. And it's plus 200 B power and plus two attack. So, I don't really know much about the Baku Gear. But here's Enoch Ultra. He is 700 B and 4 damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'll have to cut these little ties here. Alrighty, just got that stuff out of the packaging. Um, I guess we'll take a quick little look at these little Baku Nano type pieces. Not really interesting. I don't really like those pieces. Here's the armor, which is an axe that splits into two axes. Take a look at that. Um, we'll go ahead and throw it on, actually. Here's that. So, yeah. I guess it's cool. Um, I don't know. But here's Enoch, opened up. I think he looks really awesome. Like, what is Enoch? Is he like a Dragonoid mixed with a Garganoid or something? All right guys, sorry about that, my camera cut out. Uh, I was just in the middle of this looking at the card again like what is he pretty much just a demon I guess let's go ahead and try and close him I think these horns are these horns are manual so they're not spring loaded uh, I'm gonna try and fold the feet and then maybe the head and the Tail, or try feet, wings, right, feet and wings, nope, head, head goes under the wings, head, wings, feet, alright, head, wings, feet, tail, or head, wings, tail, and then the feet, and then the back piece, up, oh, up, oh. and now the back piece, which for some reason won't go in, come on, there we go, really had to snap in there, didn't it, alright, let's put this stuff aside, we'll go ahead and line up a couple of cores, Nice. Alright. So 
so um while I was setting that shot up I noticed that this guy is a little bottom heavy so you might be able to curve roll him and like I showed you with the mantanoid, I don't really have that large of a setup. So all I can really do is show you that he kind of likes to roll to the bottom where his magnet is. So if you do a little side flick, he should... I don't know if you guys saw that, but he did curve a little. Yeah. So if you guys want to use him for curve shots, you can definitely do that. Um, oh, he didn't even pick up the core. <laughs> I guess we'll go ahead and just to get an extra minute of video. I guess the idea is that these go into the thighs. Um, I mean, okay, I guess, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the only plugs I see. So I guess they go into the thighs and this goes on his back. And this is what he looks like. All decked out. Hold on, let me put his horns up. Here's what he looks like all decked out. I think the gear is kind of poop especially these little nano type things i mean i guess these are all right but otherwise get out of here garganoid is pretty cool and this fangzanoid is i don't know which one's cooler you guys let me know which one you think is cooler. I like the color scheme of this guy. And I like how long he is. He's probably really good for gate card battle. But anyway, um, I guess that's it for the video. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you in the next video.